but we're going to start a brand new game. We're getting dangerously close to the release date of Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm really excited for the release. I have a couple concerns about that game, but uh, I will save my concerns for when that comes up. It is a tale from long ago. It is the tale of the first settlers of this land. In the beginning, the people followed the spirits of good, and all was peaceful. But that era of peace soon came to an end. The evil demon king rose to power, destroying everything in his path. The spirits of good had no choice but to face him in battle. The war that ensued seemed to last an eternity, and much blood was shed. Finally, the spirits subdued the Demon King, though they could not destroy him. Their powers were greatly depleted. With their remaining power, they buried the Demon King's spirit in the ground. They built shackles to imprison him, and a tower that acted as a little lock. These shackles cover the land to this day. With their power drained, the spirits of good return to the heavens. Suddenly, bereft of both demons and spirits, this land was entrusted to us. And? It turns out, it was Nico the whole time! Well, do I know how to tell a story or what? I call it Spirits and Demons at War. I only do this show once a year, you know. It's a blasted masterpiece. Uh, uh, a masterpiece. What's this? You fell asleep during my magnum opus? Yeah. So this is Link. But he's clearly not the same as the uh, Wind Waker Link or the Phantom Hourglass Link. I can't believe this. You know Link. A lot of people would love to be in your position. As my roommate, you get to see my work for free. Plus, I'm not getting any younger here. This story might be the only thing that proves I existed. Can't you pay attention for one minute and listen to an old man's final creation? Are you listening to me, Link? Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Sorry for bothering you. Look here. Look, here comes your mentor. Hello there, Alfonso. And this is a different Alfonso, not the same other guy. Why are you still here, Link? Come on now, wipe the sleep out of your eyes. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Today is a very important day, you know. It's your audience with the princess. Uh, right. Don't tell me you forgot. You won't amount to much if you don't pay attention. Don't you want your engineer certificate? Well, the graduation ceremony is at the castle. Princess Zelda herself is going to do the honors. I'm heading to the station now, so meet me there. Remember, the station is up the road. Don't get lost. Got it? Good. Then get a move on. See you later, Nico. Today is the day you graduate from apprentice to official train engineer. It's quite an honor and you mustn't be late. Use a stylus to touch where you want to go. It's as easy as that. To talk to someone? Yeah, that's uh... Now off to the castle with you. Scoot! Aww. A boat village. Alrighty then. And we're gonna ignore them and go straight to the train platform. And this is where we first learn to use the train. You're late! And this is our train. 
Yes, it is quite small. Do you understand the significance of today? In order to become a train engineer in this kingdom, you must have an audience with the princess. If she grants you her permission, you can finally operate a train by yourself. Now hop aboard, we're going to the castle. Good, then let's get going. Oh, but one last thing, you're going to drive the train to get us there. Call it your final exam. Don't look so worried, it'll be a piece of cake. You need us- You need to get us to the castle in 300 seconds. That's five minutes if you don't know. Right now, we're here in a boat of village. And our destination, Hyrule Castle, is right here. There are other trains on the track, so be careful not to hit them. The tracks you can drive on are darker colored. The other ones are off limits. So, you think you got it? Yes. I like your confidence. I'll remind you how to operate the train on your way there. So hop aboard. So we don't have a cannon yet for this game. You probably got all this down, but humor me while I tell you again. This here is the gearbox. Slide the lever up and down to change speed. Slide to press it to go in reverse. You can use it as an emergency brake too. This is the whistle. Touch it and give it a good pull to blow the train's whistle. Oh, and you can look around by touching the direction you want to look. Good engineers are always aware of their surroundings, you know. So, did you catch all that? Yes. Now set the gearbox lever to fast to ratchet up the speed. gonna tell us how to turn so we don't hit the train. Animal on the track! Sound the whistle to scare it off. See there's a fork in the road ahead? We'll need to use the rail switch to decide which direction to go. This is the rail switch. Slide the handle to go the direction you want. Your course is displayed on the map so check here too. Got it? From here, we'll be sharing tracks with other trains. Keep an eye on the map and make sure you choose the correct tracks. <laughs> We've got a clear view of the Tower of Spirits today. Alright, we're almost at the castle. Use the lever on the gearbox to stop at the station. We're on a collision course! Good job, you passed the exam with flying colors. <laughs> that last little bit was kind of uh, iffy, if I do say so myself. Got us to Castletown. And you know what else? You look good handling a train. That's the surest sign you're gonna make a great engineer. Now just head to the castle for your graduation ceremony. It's to the north. You can't miss it. Good luck now. Oh, right. I don't have my sword yet. And if you notice, we don't have a fairy following us anymore. And the postman doesn't have wings this time. Hey, howdy, mister. Oh, I'm no good at long-winded interactions. I'm just an average guy who works the postman gig to get by. You can call me postman. All my friends do. Now that you know my name, next time I see you, don't be shy. So hello. Speaking of names, you're Link, right? We've got a letter for you, so just jump right in and I'll read it aloud. Oh, wait. That's the way we used to do things, but no more. Apparently, some folks thought our reading their letters out loud was rude. So now our policy is to just hand deliver the mail unopened. There you go. You got a letter. 
Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around. Alright, now we're in Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I'm sleepy. I've been standing here since dawn. Hey, why don't you keep, stop bugging me and get moving? What is a kid? We're kind of busy protecting Hyrule Castle right now. If you've got no business here, I suggest- What's that? You're here for the engineer graduation ceremony? Ah, i completely forgotten that today was the graduation ceremony. Huh? I didn't know they gave engineer certificates to little kids like you. I guess times are changing. Well, go on in. The princess throne room is up the stairs. Only invited guests are allowed in. What that means for you is... Get lost! It's all the commotion here. Oh, good day, Chancellor Cole. Apologies for the disturbance. This boy says he's come to see the princess. Is that so? You're here for the graduation ceremony. That's so young. A waste of resources. The spring trucks are vanishing. The princess insists on performing these ridiculous ceremonies. Well, come along, boy. We must get your... you to your ceremony. Follow me. You'll just stand there, drilling private. Move aside. Yes, sir. Alright, so we can just follow him. It's Tetra. He's displayed on the stained glass this time. <gasps> and Link is extremely bashful in this game. And you can even hear the ocarina in the background. Raising your head without permission! You ill-mannered trim! Don't pay any attention to Chancellor Cole. You must be the new engineer. What's your name? Oh, Link is a wonderful name. Well, Link, by the power vested in me, I hereby proclaim you wasting our time here, your highness. Please just hurry up and finish this foolish ceremony. <sighs> Very well, Chancellor. Thank you, teacher. I didn't get this game until much later after it had released. I hereby recognize our newest royal engineer, Link. Work hard, for we all rely on you, Link. You got your royal engineer certificate. Now you're a full-fledged engineer. Shh, take this. No, don't say a word right now. Read this later and be aware of the Chancellor. The ceremony's over, so I suggest you move along. Why don't you go polish your train or something? Not that it matters much. <laughs> the thing will be useless before long. Fortunately, the Chancellor doesn't have a lot of lines in this game. If we read our collection, we can see our letters. This is from the Postmaster. We're not actually going to read that, but this one from Princess Zelda we are going to read. I have a great favor that I must ask of you in person. Follow the secret path at the top of the castle. Tap the map icon to copy the location to your map. Please come to my quarters as soon as you can. Don't let anyone see you. Alright, so we need to go there.
So something is very special about this game. And it's completely unique to this game. It's the only game in Zelda history that has ever done this before. Uh, we're not talking about the spirit flute, but you will see what I mean in just a couple of minutes. I'm so glad you made it, Link. Did any of the guards see you on the way here? Nope. Really? That's great. Listen, you're the only one who can help me. I have to ask a favor of you, Link. As you know, the Tower of Spirits has protected our kingdom for ages. The tower connects all the spirit tracks that crisscross the land. However, for some reason they seem to be vanishing from everywhere. Something must have happened at the tower to cause this. I must go there to investigate. I've heard tales of a sage who guards our land and lives in the tower. Perhaps she might be able to shed some light on what's happening. Chancellor Cole forbids me from leaving the castle due to safety concerns. I think he just doesn't want me going to the tower, though. But why? It's clear he's hiding something. I have the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. That's why I absolutely must get to the tower. What do you think? Will you take me on your train? Okay. Thank you so much, Link. All right, please put this on right away. It's a recruit uniform. The guards are starting their patrols, so getting past them will be easy. But if you wear this, they'll think you're one of them. It's a recruit uniform. Wearing this, you can pose as a soldier and move freely about the castle. Please get changed so we can go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look the other way. But please hurry. But all looks good enough, I suppose. Now let's go before the guards can find us. All right. Um. Oh. These guards are pretty serious, so just pretend to be a new recruit. That way, if they see you, they'll just think you're one of them. But if they see me, I'm sure they'd make a big fuss and won't let me out. So please help me get past the guards without them seeing me, okay? I'll fall behind you, but if you want me to take a different route... Touch the marker at my feet and draw a path for me to walk on. Just draw the route you want me to follow. This is the switch icon. If we split up, just tap it to see where I am. And this is the call icon. Tap it to call me over to where you are. Do you understand my explanation? I know you're going to do a great job. Let's get moving. to make sure that there are no unwanted guests hanging around. Yeah, okay, so we have to try that again. But this is the special thing I was talking to you about. The controls in this game? We actually get to control Zelda for the very first time. So... I think I have to do this a different way. Oh. Alright, that guard's not gonna come here, but oh! You're supposed to be able to distract them.
Alright, and now we're outside. And this is this game's stealth section. But being able to control Princess Zelda is pretty unique because you aren't actually able to play as Zelda in any other game. In the first one, even typing in the name Zelda into the text box for the name uh, for your character, that will put the game in a more difficult mode. You're not actually able to play as Zelda. So, look, that guard isn't moving. He's just standing in the same place. Why don't you try to distract him somehow? I can slip past him when he's looking the other way if you draw a path for me. Scram, you're interfering with my duties. What's that look for? Is there something in my teeth? Sure, it's nice weather we're having. Not that I'm uh, <laughs> slacking on my patrol duties or anything. What's that look for? Is there something in my teeth? The guard seems really serious about his job, Link. I don't think you can distract him with small talk. Is there some way you can get him to move from that spot? Hey, what are you throwing rocks at me? Why are you throwing rocks at me? Oh no! Come this way. This guard is for elite posts only. All right. So we managed to get Zelda out. But that was the only time we'll actually be able to control Zelda as Zelda. Well, there's that and one other point near the end of the game. But uh, you'll see why in a few minutes. Did it! We made it out of the castle! Now, let's board the train and head for the Tower of Spirits. What took you so long, Link? Did you keep me waiting just so you could change clothes? Oh, hello, Your Highness. What are you doing here? Hello, Alfonso. Have you been well? I'm so sorry we haven't spoken since you left the castle guard. I must admit, I miss hearing you bellowing orders in the courtyard. You're too kind to me. I'm sure hearing me yell all day was far from pleasant. But you shouldn't distract me with talk about the old days. I'll just come out and ask, why are you here without a proper escort? Are you responsible for this somehow, Link? I asked for his assistance, and I hope I can count on your help too, Alfonso. I would feel much safer with you at my side. Please come with us to the Tower of Spirits. So the Tower of Spirits? Whatever for? We don't have time to discuss it right now. I'll tell you all about it when we're on board. But what if something happens? If something happens is exactly why I need you. 
You were once the greatest swordsman in the whole kingdom. Yes, but that was a long time ago. Now, I'm just a simple train engineer, living in the countryside. It can't be more than that, but I'll come along with you if you wish. Thank you, Alfonso. Okay, Link, to the Tower of Spirits. All aboard! That's my line. Oh. I said that completely backwards. But whatever, I'm standing by it and I'm not doing a re-recording for that. Highness, look over there. The Tower of Spirits, how, has an ominous dark shadow surrounding it. Oh, this would look better if I put the screen in vertical mode. I'm just going to do this temporarily for this cutscene so you can see it. Yep, and now it's just floating. Ominously in the void. <laughs> What's happening to the Tower of Spirits? Switch back to the other screen. Too. <laughs> I forgot the voice I did for this guy. Oh, for a leisurely stroll, your highness. Tush, tush, tush. You know that's not allowed. <laughs> allowed by who? You, Chancellor Cole? Well, Steve, do you think is really in charge? <laughs> I just can't do a vocal fry today. My goodness, pretending to be a human is exhausting. Who knew that Chancellor was just another word for royal babysitter? I had meant to keep up the ruse a bit longer. But you pushed me to this, Princess. Bringing in the boy and the engineer didn't help either. What are you talking about? <sighs> I'm talking about your infernal meddling. But now that those vile tracks are disappearing, the time is finally at hand. All we need now is... A little help, Cece, from you, your highness. I don't know who these two are, your highness, but with your permission, I'd be happy to teach them some manners. <laughs> yeah, how gallant, brave, incredibly fool nerdy. Yeah. Enough out of you. My family has served the royal house for generations. Melodrama bores me. Burn, would you kindly dispose of this fool? Hmm. This man speaks the truth, Cole. His movements are not those of an amateur. But he is only human. I 
told you I will defend the princess at any cost. And I told you you're only human. <laughs> oh, Vern, you do know how to put on a show. Hmm. It was hardly a fair fight, Cole. <laughs> Help me, Link. <gasps> and once again, the princess is just standing there. She could use that opportunity that Link gave her to run. You know? Just saying. No. Don't come any closer. Good work, Burn. Takes care of the first step of our plan. <laughs> the work is done here. Now, Burn. Welcome back, boy. I'm glad to see you're finally awake. There was some hubbub outside. I went to investigate. People said that the spirit tracks were disappearing. Point the guards brought you and Alfonso in from outside. Both of you were out cold, so I've been waiting for you to come too. Well, tell me what happened. So what you're saying is, the Chancellor is some kind of monster and he kidnapped Princess Zelda? My goodness, what a story. You're just pulling my leg though, aren't you? Oh, so it's true, you say. What? So, what you're saying is that princess has been kidnapped. This is terrible. I must inform the princess at once. Ah, yes, that right. She's not here. Well, I'm at a loss as to what to do. What to do? What to do? Hello? Hello? Gods, please help me. Can any of you see me? I need your help. Help. I need your help. Why can't anyone hear me? Can you see me, Link? I must apologize to Alfonso for what happened. And to you, too. I never knew the Chancellor was capable of such evil. All these years, and I never noticed what he really was. I was a fool. And the Tower of Spirits breaking apart. You saw it too, didn't you, Link? must have something to do with the dark forces. After all, they made the spirit tracks disappear. This must be the handiwork of Cole and his cronies. But what could their goal be? He said something about the spirit tracks vanishing. What did he mean by that? And why would they take my body away with them? What will they do with it? Oh, I'm sorry. It seems I'm much lighter without my body. Listen, Link. 
Let's try again to go to the Tower of Spirits. Now more than ever, we must find the Tower of Sage. But before we go, I want to show you something. This spirit flute is a prized family heirloom. It's been handed down for generations. It originally belonged to one of my ancestors, the one who founded this kingdom. It's my greatest treasure of all. I can't carry it while I'm in this state, as you can see, but I'm certain it's meant to protect me. I can hardly ask you to do any more for me. But will you take this? And will you come to the tower with me? You're the only person I can turn to now. You got the spirit flute. This plant flute will probably come in very handy. Thank you so much, Link. Now then, shall we go? I will travel alongside you. Wait, just a second, Link. If the tracks are gone, and even if they weren't, we don't have a train. How can we get to the Tower of Spirits? Oh, I know. I've heard there's a path from the castle to the tower, but if it does exist, it certainly hasn't been used recently. There's a door at the back of the castle. Maybe the path is somewhere there. Let's go see. I think they changed the voice actor for Link in between there. That was very squeaky just then. What is it, recruit? Well, you want to leave through this door. Well, I can tell just by looking at you that you are inadequately prepared. There are all sorts of strange beasts on the other side of this door. It's not the kind of place you want to go without a sword. He's right, Link. Heading to the Tower of Spirits without a sword is too dangerous. Why don't you find the guard captain and ask him to loan you a sword? He'll probably just think you'll want it for training. The guard captain? He's in here? No. That doesn't seem right. The guard captain. Unauthorized personnel may not enter the second floor. Nice weather we're having, and the view here is really something else. they have the guard towers. Is this the guard captain? Uh, princess. And what happened to the princess? Did she escape on her? As long as I'm laid up irresponsible for her safety, Link. Okay, so the guard captain has to be some in some sort of guard house, right? So you wouldn't want that person just wandering around, right? Here he is. What now, recruit? Eh? You want a sword so you can leap through the back of the castle? Did I get that right? Some swordsman you are running around with no sword. There's something fishy about this. Are you really a new recruit? <laughs> Your eyes tell the whole story. Alright, take this one. You got the recruit sword. Tap on any needs to slide. Listen, just because you have a sword, that doesn't make you a swordsman. Let me see if you're truly worthy of handling a weapon like that. Alright, time for a little sword practice. These fellows are here to help you train, so don't hold back when you're attacking them. First, the targeted attack. He hits you each guard twice with a targeted attack. If you don't know how to do a targeted attack, just ask me. Good. The target attack is the most basic attack. Next is a side slash. Each guard with two attacks. Get moving, recruit. Nice form. Now for the spin attack. This one's a little bit trickier. If you don't know how to do this, just let me know. Hustle. Good work, recruit. 
you've completed all the training exercises. Since you've got the basics down, I'll give you the sword. Now keep up the good work and come back to polish your skills. You did a wonderful job. That was just amazing, Link. Now that you have a sword, we can exit through the door in the back. Let's go. Yeah, they definitely changed the voice actor for Link in this version. Hey, recruit, there's all sorts of monsters. I've told you already, I can't let you without there without a sword or... I see, you got yourself a weapon. All right, then be careful out there. Oh, um, hey there. It's dangerous being out here by yourself with all these monsters. What? You're searching for a tunnel that will take you to the Tower of Spirits? Well, there was a path up that way recently, but the rockfalls have closed it off. I'm not exactly sure where it was, but if I were you, I'd investigate that wall. Oh, they give us a bomb. Sound different. There we go. That's it there. Is there a closer bomb? We're back. Tunnel to the tower. It's awfully dark here, and it's kind of damp too. Is this really the way to the tower? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud. Come on, Link. Let's go. Oh, no. Tap a block. Yeah, I don't need to do it. Oh. I must... yeah, I kind of have to. Okay. Okay, Link is super vocal in this game for whatever reason. I don't recall him making that much noise. Uh... Maybe it's just the voice actor has a higher pitch to his voice. Before you hit the bottom switch, hit the top one. The switch after the bottom switch is the left one. <laughs> what? Okay, so hit the top one, then the bottom one, and then the left one. Hit the right switch before the top switch. Okay. Okay. Right, top, bot, whoops. So it's right, top, bottom, left. What? Before you hit the bottom switch, hit the top one, right? Before that's the- oh. Right. Top. Bottom. Left. 
I've got my left and right confused. Do you hear squeaking, Link? Oh, how horrible! Oh, thank you! Those beasts were just terrifying. I never want to see them again. I didn't even get the 80 coins I need for the shield. Well, I assume it's 80 coins. Wait. Oh, that looks so much better. I didn't even know that that was a thing. I knew there was a filter on it. The screen, that is. <sighs> I was wondering why everything was so fuzzy. We're gonna leave it like this for a little while. Just in here. What's this train? Well, maybe I'll switch it back. This, my dear, is the spirit strain. They entrusted us with this keeping. How did you know that? Are you sh I'm not sure if the, uh... It looks better or worse with the screen smoothing. I guess it looks a little better. Are you... The sage of this tower? Well, I wouldn't put it that way exactly. I do watch over the Tower of Spirits. My name is Anjin. And I'm glad to see you. There's something we have to talk to you about. Mm, yes, that pallor you're sporting is quite frightful. I might even call it rather hideous, in fact. <laughs> hideous? How dare you! I see that feistiness runs in your family, my dear. But there's no need to get your feathers ruffled. Oh, did you know someone in my family? Feisty and bright, just like she was. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Yes, I knew one of your ancestors. I met her when she had just arrived here. She and I were friends for a very long time. My family first arrived here about a century ago. Were you already here in the tower then, Anji? That's a story for another time, my dear. Right now we must discuss the matter more grave. Tell me, do you know the story of this tower? Only what the folktales say. Long ago, the spirits of good and the demon king were embroiled in a never-ending war. In the end, the spirits could not defeat him, but they did manage to imprison him in this tower. It's not chains or bars that keep him imprisoned, but an energy that flows between the tower and the four temples that surround it. Oh, of course, Anjin. Then the spirit tracks... Mm -hmm. Correct, my dear. The spirit tracks carry that energy. If the tracks are lost, the tower's energy will fade, and so will the Demon King's prison. And that's just what the evil ones are after. They aim to resurrect Maladus, the Demon King. Right now my strength maintains his shackles. But it's only a matter of time until they're broken. Of course, in order to resurrect Maladus, they need the other key ingredients. A vessel from the royal line of ancient Hyrule, with sacred power coursing through its veins. Yes, Maladus requires you in order to return, but only your shell, my dear. It would be the only vessel suitable for him to inhabit. The Demon King is gonna run around in my body? It's too disgusting for words! 
We have to stop them. We can't let the Demon King return. I well, thought exactly, my dear. At the top of this tower is your body. The Demon King's spirit is also there. To prevent him from possessing your body, you must fortify this prison. To do this, restore the energy between the temples and this tower. In other words, restore the tracks between here and the temples. But how? How do we restore the spirit tracks? The answer lies above us in the floors of this tower. Four stone rail maps are enshrined there. We must retrieve them. As you know, this tower connects to our kingdom. Right now, the tower is filled with an evil energy. If you can get far enough to retrieve a rail map, a portion of the tracks will be restored. Start your search by climbing the stairs. Of course. Thank you, Anjin. You have a very important mission ahead of you. The kingdom is in danger. We're all counting on you. You understand the gravity, right? To find the sacred maps. I will wait for you here. That's what princes have always done. From what I understand, it's a family tradition. No need to be scared. Just pack up and get moving. Sorry to interrupt such a enthusiastic pep talk. But ascending this tower alone would be impossible. There are traps set to snag trespassers. Not to mention that pesky little monster infestation. Is that so? Well, I feel terrible asking, but... Anjin, can you guide Link upstairs? Have you already forgot what I said? I have my hands full together, just keeping the tower together. I'm sorry, dear, but I just can't leave my post. Then what should we do? Should we go back and get Alfonso? Oh, but he's wounded. Teacher, the captain, the castle guard? But I suppose there's no time for that, is there? What if you went with him, my dear? Me? Go with him? But I'm not sure how much help I'd be in this state. Well, my dear, this kingdom is your responsibility. You mustn't ever forget that. I'm sure you'll find a way to help out somehow. <sighs> well, all right. We'd better get going then, Link. Alright, so I'm going to save here because it is like almost 2 a.m. And I need to get some sleep before tomorrow. But uh, we have our mission. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all when we get into the next video, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess.